Hello everyone. In this session, we are going to discuss about investment. Investment under investment, we are going to discuss meaning of investment, then features or characteristics of investment, then objectives of investment, and investment versus speculation and investment versus gambling. These topics we are going to discuss today. Okay. Now, what is investment? Investment is the employment of funds with the aim of achieving additional income or growth in value. Investment means it is the employment of funds with the aim of achieving additional income or growth in value. The essential quality of an investment is that it involves waiting for a reward. Now, what is investment? It is the employment of funds with the aim of achieving additional income or growth in the value or else in simple terms investment means sacrificing something today to earn something in future what is investment investment means to sacrifice something today to earn something in future in investment means sacrificing something today to earn something in future right that is nothing but investment hope you are clear otherwise in other words definition of investment according to fisher and jordan an investment is a commitment of funds made in the expectation of some positive rate of interest an investment is a commitment of funds or employing the fund you are putting some fund or money with the expectation of some positive rate of interest is nothing but investment hope you are clear clear sacrificing something today to earn something in future is nothing but investment or else your employment or commitment of funds made in the expectation of some positive rate of interest is nothing but investment hope you are clear and now what are the characteristics of investment what are the characteristics of investment investment characteristics mainly mainly investment is based on risk then second one investment is based on return another one investment is based on investment which includes safety right and fourth one liquidity so first one investment is based on risk now what is risk risk is nothing but it refers to the possibility of incurring a loss in a financial transaction what is risk it is the possibility of incurring loss in a financial transaction is nothing but risk is it clear risk bearing is the major factor of investment what do you mean by risk risk refers to the possibility of incurring a loss in a financial transaction is nothing but it is a risk now investment is based on risk do you agree investment is based on risk all investment sources are not risky one but most of the investments are investment sources are risky take for example if you invest some amount in ft as i mean in bank i mean in bank if you invest as a ft that is risk free right this risk free but if you invest in equity shares preference shares real estate or in other securities right that that sources are risky hope you are clear hope you understood investment is based on risk then investment is based on return what is the purpose of investment it's very simple with the intention of earning something in future right with the intention of to get return in future is that is the objective of investment so investment is based on return and investment is a pattern of buying and selling of securities in order to earn return on such securities to earn something you are going to invest employment of the funds in different sources with the intention of getting some return right that is nothing but investment is based on return the return is nothing but reward from investment whatever you invest in return whatever you get 
that is revert that is nothing but that is return hope you are clear the return is nothing but reward from investments hope you are clear second point one is risk second one is return then third one investment is based on time factor okay now investment is based on time factor some of the sources are short term sources and some of the sources are long term sources see short term and long term short term sources sources of investment or avenues of investment one and the same avenues sources like equity shares preference shares debentures bonds all these are the sources or avenues of investment is it clear okay now investment is based on time factor it means the period of investment such as long term and short term period right long term take for example if you invest in bank as a fd for 10 years that is long term okay uh, short term instruments are it is equity shares equity shares and any time you can sell that particular shares right that is equity shares preference shares like that otherwise even money market instruments are there money market treasury bills then uh, commercial bills hope you are clear these are the short term uh, short term period instruments is it clear money uh, time factor long term and short term it means the period of investment such as long term and short term period okay then next one safety safety refers to the protection of investor principal amount and expected rate of return some of the sources are having more safety and some sources are less safety in investment now which sources are most more safety take for example bank then post office post office schemes like uh, fd then ssy sukanya samruddhi yojana then ppf public provident fund okay then in bank it is fd then lic then uh, other sources like uh, even debenture is also safety one because you get regular income right debentures then government security that is treasury bills these are the these are the safety securities clear and some sources are are having less safety like equity shares preference shares right then even real estate investing in gold or other assets right these are having less security hope you are clear what is safety safety refers to the protection of investor principal amount whatever you invest that is principal amount and expected rate of return that is the return hope you are clear protection of the investor principal amount whatever the amount you invested that is principal amount and the return that you get in both cases you need safety clear as far as investment hope you are clear then uh, next is liquidity now what is liquidity it refers to an investment ready to convert into cash position liquidity means easily convertible into cash the securities can be easily convertible into cash that is nothing but liquidity is it clear in other words it is available immediately in cash form some of the securities it can convert into cash easily right like shares you can immediately sh uh, sell that particular share and you can get the amount right money market instruments these are easily convertible into cash and some sources like real estate immediately you can sell uh, it's difficult to sell the party you need then plenty of time required right so it, it takes time is it clear okay so hope you clear liquidity in, liquidity in the sense liquidity in investment means uh, those securities you can easily convertible into cash such securities are liquid securities hope you are clear next what are the objectives of investment the same points whatever you discussed in characteristics all those are objectives as well one objectives of investment one maximization of return 
right maximization of maximization of return then second one minimization of risk minimization of minimization of risk then third one what was the third one tax exemption tax exemption exemption sorry then fourth one safety is it clear then these are the objectives of the investment what what is the purpose of investment nothing nothing but objectives of investment now maxim first one maximization of return every investor tries to maximize their return am i right what is the main purpose of investment to get maximum return that is the first objective then second one try to minimize the risk that is the second one clear third one tax exemption you if you invest in some securities take for example if you invest in post office some of the securities you get tax deductions right tax exemption is there okay that is the third purpose then fourth one that is safety that we already discussed right these are the objectives of investment hope you are clear then next important topic that is speculation now what is speculation speculation involves buying and selling of activities with the expectation of getting profit from the price fluctuations speculation involves buying and selling the selling activities with the expectation of getting profit from the price fluctuations now i i would like to give you example for speculation okay uh today morning you are going to purchase one security okay uh, take for example infosys company infosys company infosys company shares okay you are going to purchase infosys company share in bsc for rupees 1300 you purchased you purchased infosys share for rupees 1300 per share Okay, thousand three hundred. Timing ten thirty. Ten thirty a.m. You purchased Infosys share at rupees thousand three hundred. Okay. Now in the evening, in around three o'clock, the price is increased to thousand four fifty. Is it clear? Thousand four fifty. So immediately you you are going to sell that particular share and you are going to earn thousand. Three hundred to thousand four fifty. That is one fifty rupees, right? One fifty rupees per share. One one fifty rupees per share. You are going to get the profit. That is nothing but speculation. Is it clear? What is speculation? Speculation involves buying and selling the activities with the expectation of getting profit from the price fluctuations. Actually, it is short term. Price fluctuations. Is it clear? Morning you are going to purchase at thousand three hundred. In the evening it may increase to thousand four fifty. In case if it is increased to one four five zero or something a thousand five hundred, you are going to sell that share and you are going to earn something, right? That is nothing but speculation. Is it clear? In simple terms, speculation is nothing but short term earning out of short term dealing in stock exchange. I just repeat. speculation means short term earning short term earning out of short term dealings in the stock market short term earning right 150 that is the short term earning in the short term dealing morning you purchased evening you sold right short term earning short term short term period short term earning short term period in stock exchange that is nothing but speculation is it clear now what about the differences between investment versus speculation investment and speculation what about risk i you know the meaning of risk right uh, possibility of incurring a loss in a financial transaction is nothing but risk 
in a broader broad sense investment is considered to involve limited risk and to those avenues where the principal is safe speculation is considered as an invo involvement of funds of high risk now speculation which which is highly high risk and investment which has less risk and it is safe compared to the uh, speculation why see take for example if you purchase shares at 1300 in the morning in the evening the price may decrease to 1100 or 1200 it may increase or it may decrease it may increase or decrease right so it is more risky speculation is more risky investment is less risky okay next second one capital gain another distinction between investment and speculation emphasizes that if the motive is primarily to achieve profits through price changes it is speculation clear to achieve profits through price changes 1300 to 1450 so 150 this is the price changes achieving profits that is 150 is the achieving profits through price changes is it clear that is nothing but speculation if the purchase of securities is prepared by proper investigation and analysis and review to receive a stable return over a period of time it is termed as investment see before investment you are going to analyze the securities analyze the sources of investment then only you are going to invest but for as far as speculation you don't do any analysis you just purchase the shares in the morning or then in the evening or or next day you are going to sell it in short term you are going to earn money right that is nothing but speculation is it clear so next one next time a long term fund allocation is terms is termed as investment short term holding is associated with trading for the quick term and is called speculation speculation for that you know short term and usually investment is for long term clear investment is long term this is speculation long term that is investment hope you are clear i just repeat one first one risk right speculation is more risky compared to the investment then capital gain motive is to primarily achieve profits through price fluctuation right intention of getting more profit in short term that is the intention of speculation then what about investment they as a investor they do proper investigation or analysis is done before investment is it clear that is capital gain then time short term and long term speculation is speculation is short term and uh, investment is long term then and last topic that we are going to discuss today that is investment versus gambling i don't uh, uh, explain it in detail with regard to gambling it is very simple topic okay investment you know what is investment investment means sacrificing something today to earn something in future or else investment means it is a employment of fund to with the in, with the intention of earning profit in future is it clear that is investment now investment is an attempt to carefully plan evaluate and allocate funds in various investment outlets which offer safety of principal right moderate and continuous returns and long term commitment these are the features actually with regard to investment next what is gambling this is the example by uh, seeing the example itself we come to know what is gambling lottery cricket betting horse racing these are the example for gambling hope you are, hope you can understand what is gambling gambling is a quite opposite of investment it connects high risk and expectation of high returns right cricket betting ipl betting or lottery horse racing right there is a high risk uh, you can uh, differentiate investment versus gambling investment which has less risky gambling which are, which is more risky right because uh, in gambling 
either you win or else lose right if you win you get take for example if it is the 500 rupees is betting right you can earn 1000 or else you can lose 500 right there are high risk as well as high profit high returns is it clear high returns as well as high risky because you may lose even 500 rupees as well that is high risky if, if you win definitely get high returns is it clear so hope you're clear investment versus gambling hope you understood these concepts what do you mean by investment investment means sacrificing something today to earn something in future that is nothing but investment uh, under investment there are few features what are the investment features one is investment is based on risk then investment is based on return investment is based on time factor investment is based on safety principle liquidity principle and even you can add tax shelter tax shelter there is tax exemption you can add that point also okay then what are the objectives of investment maximizing the return and minimizing the risk then tax exemption or tax shelter then safety these are the objectives of investment then next topic that we discussed that is speculation what is speculation speculation means earning short term earning out of short term dealing in stock exchange there is nothing but speculation right speculation involves buying and selling securities with the expectation of getting profit from the price fluctuations right hope you understood this example then what are the differences between investment versus speculation one is risk speculation is more risky investment is less risky than capital gain uh, primarily uh, sorry uh, speculation is speculation uh, earns through uh, uh, differentiation in uh, sorry short term short term earning out of short term dealing in stock market right that through that they can earn that speculators can earn hope you are clear that is capital gain what about investment through proper investigation through proper investigation or analysis through analysis you are going to invest then time factor right speculation is short term investment is long term then investment versus gambling investment you know the meaning gambling is nothing but it is a quite opposite of investment it connects high risk and expectation of high returns example lottery cricket betting horse racing uh, these are the examples hope you understood hope you can understand these concepts in case any doubts you can call me okay thank you